ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Let's put that power to the test here on K-Check! Hello everyone, ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman po si Jules Giang for another episode of K-Check. Ang K-Check ay para sa mga gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Ang tanong, kaya ba ng ating contestants ang brain workout na inihanda natin for them this season? Ang mga may kaya ng workout na yan aabot hanggang final week of competition at isa sa kanila ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Unang-una si Alexa who is a fourth year BA Theater Art student in UP Diliman. She likes to binge watch sitcoms, drink coffee, eat a lot, and enjoys having time to herself. Janine is a geodetic engineering student at UP Diliman. She enjoys watching Marvel movies and the Korean variety show Running Man. When she has to solve math problems, she finds comfort in IU songs. Civil engineering naman ang kurso ni Jamie sa UP Diliman din. Her hobbies are watching anime and K-drama and listening to songs by Conan Gray. And last but not least, Sarah is an English language study student from PUP. She enjoys reading books, listening to music, and watching a good horror movie from time to time. Ke horror. Ke horror. <laughs> Every week, meron tayong mga ano, a participants na mahilig sa horror stories. Uh -huh. Anyway, these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Professor Mitzi Reyes, former Dean of College of Fine Arts from UP Diliman. Next, we have Professor Ricky Nelias of the Institute of Chemistry from UP Diliman. And finally, we have Professor Luisa De Leon Bolinao, former Chair of the Department of History, also from UP Diliman. At ngayon, contestants, this is round one. Make sure you wait until you're acknowledged before you give your answer. Otherwise, that answer might not be given any credit. Correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's, Let's begin. begin! Question number one. What does I stand for in the government agency DILG? The correct answer is interior. Question number two. One of the first female world leaders was Indira Gandhi, who became Prime Minister of which Asian country? Janine. India. India is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. In what ocean can you find Hawaii, Guam, and Samoa? Jimmy. Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In 2020 alone, which male singer compiled the one-word hit songs Yummy, Intentions, Holy, Lonely, and Monster? Jamie. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. In mental math, what number is 10% of 320? Janine. 32. 32 is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What is the surname of the Stone Age couple of Fred and Wilma who live in the town called Bedrock? Alexa. Flintstones. Flintstone is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What word may be a unit of weight, a currency, or a verb that means to hit repeatedly with a lot of force? The correct answer is pound. Question number eight. The BSP is tasked with formulating and implementing monetary policy aimed at influencing money supply of the country. What does BSP stand for? Janine. Banco Central ng Pilipinas. Banco Central ng Pilipinas is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. Which Italian dish of a round, flat base of dough topped with tomatoes, cheese, and or other ingredients was first made more than 1,000 years ago in Southern Italy? Alexa. Pizza. Pizza is correct. Okay, check. Question number 10. 
which granddaughter of Pelita Corrales and Eddie Gutierrez won the Gawad Urian Award for Best Actress in Babae at Baril? Janine. Janine Gutierrez. Janine Gutierrez is correct. Kay check. Kapangalan mo pa. Question number 11. What Greek mythological creature that lured sailors lent its name to the device in an ambulance for making a loud warning noise? Sara. Siren. Siren is correct. Kay check. Last question for this round, number 12. A UFO is an aerial phenomenon that cannot be immediately identified or explained. What does UFO stand for? Alexa. Unidentified flying object. Unidentified flying object is correct. Kate check. And that ends round number one. Maraming salamat, Juice. After that first round, we have Janine in the lead with 40 points, followed by Alexa with 30, Jamie with 20, and Sarah with 10. At sila nakasagot. Congratulations. Oh, Pero syempre, ito na yung portion na with like because we get to know our contestants just a little bit more. So let's start off with Alexa. Why is it important to have time to yourself? Because um, I'm an introvert <laughs> well, Most of the time, I, um, for me, um, being with a lot of people kind of exhausts me. <laughs> so to, today must be an exhausting day for you. Oh, kind of. <laughs> kind of, no, kind of. <laughs> Mama, yeah, you have your time for yourself. Okay. But we hope you enjoy your time with us today anyway. Yes. Thank you so much, Alexa. Si Janine naman. So, gaano karaming math problems na ba ang nasolve mo sa tulong na makanta ng IU? Marami-rami din po, lalo na pag-exam week. <laughs> ano bang meron sa makanta nila na nakaka-focus ka? Kasi... So, Korean po kasi, di ko nagigats yung ano, lyrics. So, nakaka-focus ako sa numbers. So, hindi ako nalilito sa words. Okay. Mm. So, nakakatulong pala yun. Pero, Ay. does IU stand for anything? Ang name niya po talaga is Lee G. Ayan, something. Pero yung screen name niya ginagamit is IU. Ayan. Yan ang gagamitin natin question sa susunod na round ng case. Saka sana may, ay, sana si Ayu nandun na nung nagmamat tayo dati. <laughs> Okay. Maraming salamat, contestants. We got to know Alex and Janine. We'll know Jamie and Sarah a little bit more later. But for now, get ready because we're going to round two sa pagbabalik ng K-Check. At tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points, recap muna tayo. Janine is leading with 40 points, followed by Alexa with 30 points, Jamie with 20 points, at si Sarah naman ay may 10 points. So Jamie, kung si Janine ay may IU, ikaw naman ay may Conan Gray. Ano naman ang nagagawa para sa iyo ng mga awitin ni Conan? Sad song. <laughs> may ligaw sa mga sad song. Pero hindi ka naman nalulungkot pag nakikinig ka sa sad song. Pag nakikinig ako ng mga sad song, parang mas nagiging happy ako. Kasi merong mas sad kesa sa oh, kanya. Oh. <laughs> Tama rin. Interesting. Kaya di ba yun? Ganang perspective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, maraming salamat, Jamie. Ito naman si Sarah na mahilig sa mga horror movies. Para sa'yo, Sarah, ano ba yung pamantayan mo para masabi na maganda ang isang horror movie? At ano so far ang best horror movie na napanood mo? Ang mga hinahanap ko pa sa horror movies, yung talagang... Magaling umarte yung nananakot. <laughs> yung nananakot. Kasi yung natatakot, parang given na dapat yun na Opo, matatakot siya. Natural lang ang reaction niya. Oh. Ano pa? Siguro pag talagang nagugulat din ako. <laughs> so what is your favorite horror movie? Siguro po, Conjuring. The series ng Conjuring po. Nakakatakot niya. Well, I wouldn't know because I don't watch. Don't watch. And I have not watched a horror ah, really? movie. Pero when you watch horror movies, ano tinatapan mo? Mata mo? Or may iba ko mag-iata? Yung TV. <laughs> <laughs> yung TV. <laughs> ako, tenga at orini. Ayaw mo marinig. Oo, kasi mas nagugulat ako sa sound. Pero papanoorin mo pa rin. Mm -hmm. Kaya pag nasa scene na ako nagugulat, tatapan ko ng tenga. Yan ang tip para sa mga viewers natin. <laughs> okay, sige. Balik na tayo. And now, it's time for round two. So, contestants, get ready to buzz in. But make sure you strategize. At laging tandaan, wait to be called before you answer. Correct answers are worth 20 points each. But you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. 
Let's begin. This is round two, and this is question number one. What is the first name of the character played by Emma Watson in the Harry Potter movie series? Janine. Hermione. Hermione is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What Olympic sport is a Japanese martial art that emphasizes the use of quick movement and leverage to throw an opponent? Jamie. Sumo. Sumo wrestling. Sumo wrestling is incorrect. Sarah. Taekwondo. Taekwondo is also incorrect. The correct answer is judo. Question number three. Complete the title of a painting by Johannes Vermeer in a movie starring Scarlett Johansson, Girl with a Pearl. Alexa. Earring. Earring is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. Bahasa is the dialect of Malay used as the national language of Malaysia and what other Southeast Asian nation? Sarah. Indonesia. Indonesia is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number five. In what 1998 animated Disney film did Lea Salonga perform the song Reflection? Alexa. Mulan. Mulan is the correct answer. K. Chet. Question number six. FIFO is a method in which assets produced first are sold or disposed of first. What does FIFO or FIFO stand for? Sarah. First in, first out. First in, first out is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What is the title of the single recorded by Juan Carlos that reached number one on Billboard's Philippine Song Chart and broke streaming records on Spotify? Janine. Buwan. The answer is incorrect. Jamie. Ere. Ere is the correct answer. K check. Is Ere a sad song? <laughs> Question number eight. What European city is famous for the tower bridge over the River Thames? Alexa. London. London is the European city which is famous for the tower bridge over the River Thames. Question number nine in science. A Mach number is the ratio of the velocity of a fluid or aircraft to the speed of what? To the speed of sound. Sound is the correct answer. Question number 10. What sport is played by two teams of four players each on horseback who try to drive the ball into their opponent's goal with mallets. The correct answer is polo. Question number 11. What is the title of the sci-fi TV series that debuted in 1966 and movies released in 1979 and 2009 that included characters Captain Kirk, and Mr. Spock. Alexa. Star Trek. Star Trek. For a while there, I thought that no one would be able to identify Star Trek. Mr. Spock would have been befuddled. Question number 12, and the last question for this round. What do you call a word formed by rearranging the letters of another word, such as, by way of example, night, which is formed from the word thing? Alexa. Anagram. Anagram is the correct answer. K check. And that's it for our second round. So after that round, points recap muna tayo. Alexa is leading with 130 points. Followed by Janine with 50 points. Sarah with 40 points. And Jamie with 30 points. Nga, but even if there's quite a lead for Alexa, hindi pa po natin alam kung ano ang magiging kalabasan ng itong round na to. Tandaan, habang may round, may pag-asa. At susunod na rin ang ultimate pagalingan round sa pagbabalik ng K-Check!
Welcome back to K Check. And after the second round, we have Alexa in the lead with 130 points. Janine in second place with 50, Sarah in third place with 40, and Jamie with 30 points. Pero hindi talaga natin alam kasi it's now time for our ultimate pagalingan round. Let's go for those points and for the win. Remember, sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga katanungan. Dito, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's begin! So let's kick off the ultimate pagalingan round with our first question from Dean Mitzi. Okay, here's the first question. What is the art form pioneered by the Filipino painter Jose Honorato Lozano during the Spanish colonial period in the Philippines? A. Miniaturismo B. Hand letter painting C. Folk painting D. Letras y figuras E. Gouache The art form is distinguished by the depiction of letters of a patron's name composed primarily by contoured arrangements of human figures surrounded by vignettes of scenes in Manila, contoured shapes of human figures, animals, plants, and other objects done usually in watercolor. An art form derived loosely from illuminated manuscripts. Okay, the answer is letras y figuras. Now, Prof. Ricky. Environmental science time. What environmental issue involves the gradual increase in Earth's average surface temperature, leading to changes in climate patterns? A. Deforestation. B. Acid rain. C. Desertification. D. Global warming. E. Ozone depletion. Jimmy. Global warming. Global warming refers to the long-term increase in Earth's average surface temperature, primarily attributed to human activities. K-check. Prof. Lu. Who was the famous 5th century conqueror, who was also known as the Scourge of God? Letter A, Xerxes of Persia. Letter B, Aurangzeb of the Mughals. Letter C, Attila the Hun. Letter D, Ivan the Terrible. Or letter E, Vlad the Impaler. He is known as Flagellum Dei, or Scourge of God. Attila was the ruler of the Huns from 434 until his death in March 453. The correct answer is C, Attila the Hun. The second round of questions, D. Nipsey. What is the art style and painting that the 19th century painter Justiniano Capitan Ting Asuncion was known for? A. Zala Prima B. Dry Brushing C. Miniaturismo D. Scrafito E. Pointillism It is an art style that pays attention to details. Asuncion was known for the detailed realism, accuracy, and the three-dimensional feel of his paintings. He painted life-size pieces and miniature-sized works. He painted religious images, portraits, and tipos del país paintings. He was a student of Damian Domingo. The answer is miniaturismo. Perfect. Which alloying element is commonly added to steel to enhance its corrosion resistance, especially in harsh environments? A. Nickel B. Copper C. Chromium D. Aluminum E. Molybdenum Alexa B. Copper Male Janine D. Aluminum Male Jimmy or Sara, pwede kayong mag-steel? The addition of chromium forms a protective oxide layer on the surface of the steel, which helps prevent corrosion. The correct answer is letter C, chromium. Prof. Africa and geography. Which African country 
is known for its stunning island paradise of Zanzibar and its historical stone town, declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000. Letter A, Mauritius. Letter B, Madagascar. Letter C, Seychelles. Letter D, Tanzania. Or letter E, Ethiopia. Tanzania is a country in East Africa known for its vast wilderness area among which include the Serengeti National Park, the island of Zanzibar, and Stone Town. The correct answer is Tanzania, letter D. Maraming salamat, Prof. Lu, Dean Mitzi. Okay. What is the principle of design that occurs when visual elements with a composition are equally distributed and arranged to communicate a feeling of stability and harmony. A, contrast and gradation. B, emphasis and subordination. C, unity and harmony. D, balance. E, focus. Sarah. Balance. This visual principle can be described as formal and symmetrical, dynamic and asymmetrical or radial. The correct answer is D, balance. K-check. Sarah is now in second place yes. after Alexa. Prof. Ricky. Biology tayo. In cellular respiration, glucose is broken down to produce energy. What is the primary molecule that captures and carries this energy? A, ATP. B, DNA. C, RNA. D, NADH, and E, mRNA. The correct answer is letter A, adenosine triphosphate or ATP is the primary molecule that captures and carries energy in cellular processes. Okay, try naman natin ang Philippine sports history. Who is the first Filipino athlete to win an Olympic silver medal in the 1964 Olympics. Letter A, Simeon Toribio. Letter B, Jose Villanueva. Letter C, Teofilo Ildefonso. Letter D, Leopoldo Serantes. Or letter E, Anthony Villanueva. Anthony Villanueva was a boxer from the Philippines who was the first Filipino athlete to win the Olympic silver medal in 1964. The correct answer is E. Anthony Villanueva. Wow, 1964, that really makes it a history question, Prof. Lee. So we're now on to our last round in our ultimate Pagalingan round, which will determine who mm -hmm. our next winner will be. Dean Mitzi. Where was the oldest warp ika tie-dyed cloth found in the Philippines? A. Kalanay Cave Masbate B. Tabon Cave Palawan C. Kalau Cave Cagayan D. Banton Island Romblon E. Buracay This burial cloth made from abaca is the oldest serving specimen in the Philippines. This was found accidentally in 1939 by a farm boy who saw the cloth relatively intact inside one of several wooden coffins found together with human skulls and bones and blue and white ceramics. The burial cloth is also the earliest known warp ikat in Southeast Asia. The answer is D. Banton Island, Romblon. Uh, agriculture. What term describes the loss of fertile topsoil due to factors like wind and water erosion, deforestation, and improper farming practices? A. Desertification. B. Salinization. C. Eutrophication. D. Soil degradation. E. Aggradation. Janine. Soil degradation. Soil degradation involves the deterioration of soil quality, often leading to the loss of fertile topsoil due to various factors. Hey, check. Salamat, Prof. Ricky. And our last question from Prof. Lu. Which tree is on the national flag of Lebanon? Letter A, 
cedar. Letter B, birch. Letter C, pine. Letter D, mahogany. Or letter E, maple. The mountains of Lebanon were once blanketed by a thick cedar forest. Hence, it served as the national emblem of the country. The correct answer is A, cedar. And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Congratulations to Alexa, our K-Check Daily Winner with a final score of 115 points. We'll see her again on Friday when she competes with our other Daily Winners for a spot in our semifinals. We'd like to thank Janine, Jamie, and Sarah for joining and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Mitzi, Professor Ricky, and Professor Professor Lu. Maraming salamat po. I'm Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for another round of K-Check. K -check.